All right, man, so look, I came across this crazy video on IG, but before we get into the video, y'all know what y'all gotta do. I told y'all, I'm trying to interact with y'all, so I need y'all to go down below in the comment section. I don't got a poll question today for y'all, but I want y'all to comment down below just a blue heart. You feel me? If you love being an American, if you love eating food, if you just love my channel in general, just comment down any color heart. Without further ado, man, hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? Follow your boy on IG. Also, I got a podcast channel in the link description box below. I promise y'all, y'all don't want to miss it. It's straight fire, okay? Even if you don't watch podcasts, I promise you, you don't want to watch this one. It's lit, bro. It's lit. Without further ado, man, let's get into this crazy, crazy video. Let's get it. Go. <laughs> Hi, I have a message for you parents out there who bring your kids to gay pride Ooh. and to drag shows dun, dun, dun. and things of that nature. Can you please leave your children at home? Can you please? Because you guys are making us look really bad. No, 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 no. You no, exploit no, 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 no. us. Uh, uh no, no, no. You can't say that. You can't say stuff like that, bro. You know, like all jokes, bro. She is. She... You can't say nothing. You can't say stuff like that. Okay. You can't tell nobody else how to raise their kids. You can't tell them, leave them. Even though this person is a drag queen, you still just know they're going to get canceled. You're going to get canceled for telling somebody to leave their kids at home. Cause that, 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 that's considered that you're a homophobe. You're a homophobe. Like you no, you're homophobic. Simple as that. You can't know. You're not going to tell me what to do with my kids. <laughs> I'm messing with y'all. Bro, I know some of y'all are so confused, but it's true. You tell somebody that, bro, they think we're crazy. They think we're the crazy ones, but this is literally a drag queen. A drag queen telling y'all, leave your kids at the crib. Leave them at the crib. Push them in the crib. They don't need to be saying stuff like this. <laughs> But I thought, I, well, we the crazy ones, you know what I'm saying? We we the people that's just, oh, y'all crazy, y'all homophobes, y'all transphobes. Like, man. By using us to look good to all of your friends on social media, you claim you do this so you could be more inclusive, so you could you know, train your child to be more inclusive. You can teach them to be good, nice, accepting people at home. We don't need them in our clubs. We don't need them in our adult spaces. You make us look bad in the end. So why don't you get your kids together? Why don't you read them a book? Why don't you dress up with them? Why don't you put them in theater? Why don't you do something else other than dress them up in little rainbow ribbons and unicorn shirts oh and then bring them over to gay spaces where me as a gay man who wants to sit there and have a decent, nice brunch and have bottomless mimosas I don't want to look at your child. I don't want to hear your child scream. I don't want to hear them cry. Bro, I never, I never truly knew that drag queens actually got common sense. He got some common sense. For real. I didn't know they had common sense. I'm actually agreeing with everything that he's saying. This is brilliant. People actually kind of waking up. Even in the gay community, they actually waking up. They're saying the truth. They're saying why we say the things that we say. It's not to hate on y'all. It's just the fact that we're trying to protect these kids. These kids are the next generation. You feel me? And I know what I, I know what I done seen as a kid, and I wish I never seen those type of things. Because whatever you see as a kid, it carry on to you into your adult years. You feel me? You seeing men dress up as women, they're going to think that that is okay to do in the real world when in reality, that's not okay. You feel me? If you are a man... Especially, okay, if you're a man, you're supposed to be masculine, okay? You're supposed to, you're supposed to be able to take care of your future wife. You know, you're not supposed to, you're supposed to protect, you feel me? You're supposed to protect and provide, you know? And if you're a woman, you're supposed to be feminine. You're not supposed to be out here trying to control no man, trying to do this for a man, trying to do that. Like, no, you feel me? I'm just, I'm just being honest. This, this is how it's supposed to work, okay? Or this is how I was taught. You know, as a man, I'm not finna dress up in a dress. You feel me? I'm not going to dress up in a dress. And then y'all take kids to pride parades and they see all this. They think that's okay. They think that's okay. Leave your kids at home. You can teach kids. You can teach anybody. Anybody that you want to teach how to accept other people, how to love other people at home. You ain't got to take them into these places to say, okay, this is how we're going to accept each other. You see how that is a man dressed up in the, as, a, as a girl? Look, you're going to accept them. You're not going to talk about them. You're not going to... Bro, you could teach all that at the crib, bro. But these men, they be dressed up in halfway clothing. I mean, they body, just all body parts showing it. Bro, kids don't need to be saying that, man. The, <laughs> the drag queen said itself. Leave your kids at the crib. 
But I'm a homophobe. I'm, I'm, I'm homophobic because I said that. I'm transphobic because I said that. Like, come on, man. <laughs> and I definitely don't want to see them give a drag queen a dollar bill. That's for us, okay? There are adult spaces and there are kid spaces. Can you please respect our space? Please. Thank I have a message for- Thank you. Drag queen said it themselves. Adult spaces and kid spaces. Don't stop taking kids to adult spaces. And y'all wonder why y'all kids grow up so fast. Y'all wonder why y'all kids know about S-E-X, you feel me? I don't want to say it on you, but you know, if you know, you know, put two to two together. But you wonder why your kids know about those type of things at six years old. Y'all taking them to adult spaces. Kids need to be kids. Kids need to look at Power Rangers and Spider-Man and stuff like that. They need to be kids, bro. They don't need to be seeing adult things. Literally, that's why so many things that say 18 and up, you feel me? Because from 18 and up, you're an adult now. You know, anything below, you still consider, you still consider somebody's child. You feel me? You still consider a kid at that. You feel me? But I'm just saying like, bro, kid spaces, adult spaces. Simple as that. Leave your kids at home. Leave your kids at home. You don't need to bring your kids everywhere you go. You just leave them at the crib. You know, find a babysitter. If you want to go to a drag queen show, find, find a babysitter. Find somebody to watch your kids. Don't be taking your kids to these type of places, man. For real. Uh, but anyways, man, y'all heard it. All respect. All respect to this drag queen. Look, I, I didn't know they had common sense. You feel me? I did not know they had common sense. But apparently they do. You feel me? So all respect to this drag queen right here, man. Uh, I need y'all to do me a big favor, though. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Let me know y'all comments. Let me know what y'all thoughts are in the comment section, okay? Let me know what y'all thoughts are. But anyways, man, I'm off this video. I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.